All right, guys, today we're going to learn about how to remove a user from a group in Linux. So um, I have this quick little guide that I put together, and um, so it tells you a few different methods of, of achieving this. Um, and uh, it, it's you, you'll have different options depending on whether you're using Ubuntu, Fedora, or CentOS. But um, if you just want a, a quick answer, um, yeah, you're, you're going to want to use the g password d user group command. Um, so that works on everything. So if you want it to work on all of these systems, Ubuntu, this is what I tested it on all of these, Ubuntu, Fedora, and CentOS. If you want a command that just works on all of them and is just easy, then just use this command, uh, g password dash d user group. So I'm going to demo that first. So also you'll notice over here I have a terminal open logged into a, a test machine running Ubuntu. So we're going to test it out on that. We're not going to be testing Fedora or CentOS today. I'm just going to go over the, you know, the screenshots and the, the commands that I used on them, but I'm not going to actually log in and test those, just because I'm not, I'm not spinning up a VM just for this video. I probably should, but I'm not. But um, yeah, we're just going to test out on Ubuntu today. But I, I have tested this on all three of these and uh, documented it here. So let's try removing one. So we, we could start out by um, let, let's uh, let's let's see what what groups and users we have, or, or just the groups and what users belong to them. All right, there we go. So um, I created a, a few extra users right here. User 2, Greg, Steve, and Ted. And um, I added Ted and Steve to the Docker group. Now, I'm actually using this Docker group for my Docker installation on this particular server. Um, and I, I created another group called Extra Group, and I added all of these new users to the Extra Group. So user 2, Greg, Steve, and Ted, all of them are on uh, Extra Group. So let's try removing them. All right, so um, let, let's just use the standard command that works on everything at first. So um, gpasswd dash g, and I'm going to say user2 extra group. And permission denied. So you, you're going to need group privileges. So you can say sudo and there we go, should have removed it. And let's let's look at the group file. So uh, there we go, looks like it removed user two. Now let's see if we want to remove Greg. So um, there we go, just removed Greg. All right, so now we only have Steve and Ted left. They're also in Docker. So um, that's that's how easy it is to remove a user from a group in Linux. So um, yeah, basically it's a matter of running, remember to run sudo g password dash d uh, greg or you know the whatever username you're, you're doing and the group name. So username group name. And um, you don't have to use sudo, you could actually just su to root if you want. I guess it's best practice to use sudo so things are tracked. You, normally you'll see this especially in corporate environments or, or wherever else and there are other permission um, other different ways of, of managing users and groups also that, that people use in, in um, larger, more corporate environments. But in, in any case, in, in most businesses, it's, it's going to be seen as a, a best practice to just use sudo. And a, a lot of people just do it on the on their home systems too, just because it's the, the right way to do things, the quote unquote right way. And it's it's probably for the best. Um, I, I would say on a home system, it's, it's totally fine. Or a lab system, it's totally fine to just sudo, sudo, root. Um, it's, it's kind of frowned upon in the in, in the industry, though. But in, anyways, moving along, um, getting a little bit off topic there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and I put a little note here. We assume, assume you're running as root. If you're not, you'll want to use sudo, blah, blah, blah. All right, so anyways, yeah, the first one that we used up here already was gpassword d. And, um, yeah, this worked on all three systems, Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS. Plenty of other Linux distros out there, but those are the ones we tested. So you can also also use Dell user group. Um, it works great on Ubuntu. It didn't work on CentOS or Fedora. So let's try this. So we, we have uh, Steve and Ted left. Let's let's get rid of Steve. Um, so Dell user Steve. Dell user Steve. Um, there we go. 
and yeah, got to remember to sudo for, for this type of modification. And there we go. So uh, only Ted is left in extra group. So that that's kind of what we were going for. All right, so um, the manual way, you can just VI it. So if you don't want to remember these commands, um, and, and I actually had to look them up to use this guide because this is not how I normally do it. I mean, I know of them, but I, I normally, this is why I went through and tested each one of these. But normally the way I would do it is just to VI the group, just because I know it's in the, or just to VI the file, just because I know it's in there and it's easy to just modify it however you like. And you can just copy and paste things in and stuff. And it's just, I, I like it better than using commands, but it, you probably should know the commands. I, I usually don't bother with them myself. But let's give that a try. So, um, vi, let's see, group, and can't type today, and here we go, shift G to the bottom. All right, so end of the line, and we can just say XXX, and escape, get out of here. Oh, and there we go. We need sudo for this as well. So yeah, you, you gotta, um, yeah, so there you go. This is what not to do. Seems to be a theme in some of my videos. And there we go, remove Ted. And um, that's literally all we're doing to verify this is just viewing what the file looks like. So when we go in and edit the file manually, of course it's gonna match. But um, yeah, anyways. Basically, we edit it manually and the user is gone. So we, we have a couple other useless users, just extra users in the Docker group. We don't want them there. Um, so I've been using root to, to do things with Docker, but we, you could use a, you, you could configure it to use, um, to work with a, a non-root user, but I just haven't on this lab system. And um, anyway, so moving right along. Uh, so that's the manual way with VI. Um, turns out there's another command called VIGR, which is actually VI, it's, it stands for VI group. And this is, this will bring up your editor of choice, which you have configured for it. And that may end up being nano or something like that. Some people like nano, that's fine. It, and, um, yeah, it'll just bring that up and automatically edit your, your Etsy group file. Kind of seems unnecessary. You could just tell it to edit the file yourself, but this command exists nonetheless, so let's give it a try. VIGR, yeah, sudo VIGR. All right, so it lets you select which one you want. All right, so let's try nano, uh, and look at look at that. It even tells you easiest, easiest choice for anyone who's new. But um, yeah, I, I would probably go with Vim Basic. I believe that's supposed to be the real Vim. Um, I know when uh, Ubuntu systems are first installed, they're not they're going to have like the the very stripped down version of Vim that doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of the functionality that you you kind of expect from it. And I I forget which packages those are, but I believe the tiny one doesn't have the functionality, and Basic has all the stuff you expect. But I forget which is which. And Ed is this ancient editor from a long time ago that um, I haven't really used much, but it's just really old. Um, anyways. Uh, let, let's try nano just to be different because we've used VI already. So now we're using nano through the VIGR command. So we didn't have to specify the file name. It just puts us in there already. But it's basically just the same thing. We're just editing the file directly. So um, let's remove, whoops. Oh yeah, and it's nano, not VI. So there's no insert mode. All right, so I believe control X will get us out of there and hit Y. Enter and let's cat the file and there we go only Ted remains in Docker so that's the VIGR command um, I would look at it as an oddity some people might see it as a handy tool either way um, there's another command called called user mod and th this is kind of a roundabout way of doing it um, and it's a way to um, yeah, so you, you specify all of the groups that you want the user to be in and exclude the group that you don't want the user to be in so this is kind of acting upon the user and not directly upon the group. Um, if you mess this up, it could have unintended side effects, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it works exactly expected as expected on all three of the systems we tested. So let, let's try it out. Remove all except the listed groups. Um, all right, so let, let's add them back again. Just, uh, um, I'm gonna VI this. 
Um, let, let's add them all. So let's add Greg and uh, Steve and um, Ted. Let's just add them in there. And let's see here. So yeah. Let, let's try user mod. Right, remove all except listed groups. All right, so user mod Greg. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say Ted. This is a better test. So user mod Ted. Um, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna list the group. So yeah, you actually do that first. So I want to let's say we want him to remain in Docker, but remove him from extra group. So we're gonna say Docker. So this is gonna say that. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, pay attention to what you're doing. As I sh yeah. Anyway, so user mod dash g Docker Ted. It's gonna make sure that the user Ted is only in that group that I listed Docker. Um, so let, let's give this a try. And yeah, and again. There we go. So we've removed Ted from extra group, but he remains in Docker exactly as as how he should be. Now let's say um, just for fun, let's say we put him in MySQL. MySQL. So that's kind of a handy thing too. So if you didn't want to edit this file, you could. Um, and you wanted to, there's a, like a standard set of groups you like to add a, add users to, and you're adding a new user, you might add it this way. But generally, if you're managing users, you should manage it with like some type of config management and not edit files like this manually anyways. So regardless, this is not really the right way to do things anyways. Um, anyways, moving along here, what else do we have? So that's pretty much it. Let, let's try this one out. You can remove a user from all groups by specifying um, just an empty string like this. So cat it out, and there's no Ted anywhere there. So that's that. Um, yeah, so we, we've done um, <clears throat> we've done user mod, we've done, um, we've used VIGR, we've used VI the manual way, Dell user, G password. So that's how you would do it. Um, just for good measure, let's remove these guys. G D, um, reg, group. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying attention to. Yeah, you, you really gotta. Yeah, so if, if this were a production server, you would generally want to pay attention closer than, um, pay closer attention than I am. <laughs> um, anyways. So, there we go, they're all gone. Um, I actually want to delete those users too, but not now. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, if you like this video, um, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, um, subscribe. Um, if you want alerts, just click the, click the little bell icon. and. Um, Definitely give give me a thumbs up. It, it helps out and um, helps me keep on doing this. Um, if you didn't like the video, feel free to leave a comment and tell me what I did wrong or what I should have done better. Um, criticism is welcome. Uh, criticism or praise, whatever you want to do. Um, tell me what you think. I, I want to know what you think. And um, that that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for watching.